Welcome back. You know, one wrong move, one little mistake could send it all toppling over. There's a new series on Fox called Domino Masters, and it promises to bring uh, some of the most amazing creations and chain reactions to your screens. Joining us this morning is one of the show's competitors, who happens to hail from Kalamazoo as well. Welcome to the mix, James Jr. Roth. You like going by Jr. or James? Which way should we go? Always go by Jr. for Ju the most part. You got it, Jr. So you got to start off with this. Tell me, Jr., how did this happen? How, how did this, was this a hobby for you? Uh, is this a lifelong so, addiction? I think just growing up, you know, as a child, we did a lot of, you know, building with dominoes and, and setting up little chain reaction stuff in my house. And um, I think a, a little over a year ago, a buddy of mine who I'm good friends with uh, called me up and said, hey, you know, we have possible opportunities. So we formed our team and just decided to go on and, and, and see what we could do. And this team, from what I understand, called the Bearded Buddies, is that correct? The Bearded Buddies, that makes sense, looking at the amazing beard that you've got working there. Oh my goodness, how long does that thing go? Wait a second, Do you, <clears throat> wouldn't, wouldn't that be a hazard uh, for setting up dominoes to have those beards dangling over the, uh, over the dominoes? You know, it was it was definitely a challenge. I think in certain in certain instances of building, when you're you know bent over trying to set dominoes up in certain instances, so a lot of times you know you tie it up and you know make a little knot out of it or something. But for the most part, it you know you just have to be very careful when you're setting these up. Yeah, well, that goes without saying, beard or no beard. I've tried. Let me see your hands. Hold them out. How steady are your hands, Junior? For, Honestly, look at that, like like stone. Look at that, what control? <laughs> I could I could never ever do it. So, time travel theme. That that's what's coming up. Uh, talk a little bit about that. And then, how are you guys judged? I mean, obviously, if they all fall down prematurely. That's a knock on you. But other than that, how are you judged? Well, I I believe that you know the judging you know uh, by Vern Davis, Danica, and and Steve Price was really about you know telling the story. Um, your technical ability and, you know, how, you know, how well your chain reactions and how well your dominoes, you know, toppled during your setup. Um, you know, the whole thing about dominoes that I think is unique is that you are setting something up that is absolutely going to fall. And, you know, so, you know, it's just how do you make that a controlled fall? How do you make it to where it happens when you want it to happen versus, just happening. I gotta be honest, there's gotta be a lot of STEM involved here, right? There's, there's some engineering, there's some math involved, right? I, I think there's a lot of math involved. I think there's a lot of, of, of um, physics yeah. more than anything. Um, you know, weight, uh, size, how things are gonna fall, where they're gonna fall, and, and being able to really be technical on how you set those dominoes up to, to make them do what you want them to do. Absolutely. Okay, so what's the big prize? What do you what do you win at the end of this? Besides, I'm sure the title. Well, title of, of Domino Master, and then also a cash prize of a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, how much? I, I believe it's a hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I can, yep. buy, I can buy a lot of dominoes. So before we let you go, we have to. I have to ask, what was the what was that moment? where you put so much time into something and then something knocked it over, right? I mean, this always happens to everybody, everybody who sets up a, a, a very elaborate topple, they call them, uh, might have that one mistake. Did a cat walk in? Did you sneeze? What happened? I, you know, I had a domino at one point that just wasn't setting quite right. And, um, you know, I turned my back and I absolutely don't even know how it really happens, but you know, you just turn, move the wrong way, your your shirt catches something. You have no idea how or why something occurs, but when it does, you just feel an incredible sense of <laughs> of loss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the word I was gonna say too. That's a, a huge sense of loss. I put all that work in is to have that one mistake, bring it all down. I think that's you know, the tension we like, though. But I think that's part of rebuild. You know, that's part of dominoes. It's, yeah. it's part of the the fun with dominoes is that you are building something, and if you lose it, you can always rebuild it again. Absolutely. Uh, words to live by, actually, Junior. There you go. If it falls down, you can always build it back up again. And now we have someone local, of course. If you haven't been watching already and rooting on 
our local competitor, Junior, right here from Kalamazoo. Check it out right here on Fox 17, Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. You can learn more on Facebook. Just go to Domino Masters Fox. Thanks again for the time, Junior.